Hey there guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today's gear video is going to be focusing on the Sabre drop leg rig from Wario Assault System. So to start off with, we're going to be looking at the panel itself. Now obviously, there's some pretty clear design influences on the Sabre here. Um, it's quite a new release from Warrior, and it's quite, quite an interesting release because they haven't really come out with anything much particularly new for a long time. But as a lot of you will no doubt notice, this is a very, very similar, uh, to put it mildly, leg rig to the HSGI Costa leg rig that HSGI came out with some time ago now. Uh, now, the HSGI original comes in two flavours. You've got the the very first type, which is uh, with the integrated tacos. And then later on down the line, they released a pure PALS version. Now, the Warrior actually kind of integrates the two. You've got a PALS leg rig. All these pouches are removable. I've removed one of the rifle and pistol stacked taco copies uh, already just to show the panel and how it's put together so value for money wise straight away you're getting a pretty good deal it must be said uh, for attaching it to your belt you've got two of these webbing hangers here attached and removed using these QR buckles and you've got adjustment via a tri-glide or the actual polymer hardware UTX branded For the leg strap, if you've seen a Serpa drop leg, you'll be familiar with this. This is a, a webbing strap with rubber threads actually sewn through the nylon. What that gives you is a really good grip. Like when, when this is around your leg, that's gonna give you good non-slip traction around your actual, around your thigh. And then also for the adjustment of it, prevents that slipping. Again, a tri-glide there, you can adjust your strap like so for actually putting it on and off another QR buckle and the leg strap itself is threaded through the panel just here uh, and you can move it slide it around in and out you could remove it completely if you wanted to for whatever reason one really impressive feature is on the back here this is a 3d spatial mesh and this is a, a mesh that is quite different to a lot of the other ones you see on various other products. I'm hoping the camera will show just how much of a depth this stuff has got to it. It's a, hard to tell just from the video, but I actually uh, I put a screwdriver down just to see how far it really sits. You've got going on for maybe a quarter of an inch, possibly up to around the f about five, six, possibly seven millimeters of clearance between the nylon base of the panel and the outer surface of this spacer mesh. So for giving you uh, airflow, stopping, you know, just sweat accumulating, that's gonna do a really nice job. And it's pretty, uh, it's not scratchy, but it's got enough friction that is gonna prevent the panel sliding around too much when you're running, which can be a pretty common uh, symptom of poorly built leg rigs. Now, as I mentioned, the uh, panel itself, has PALS webbing. Um, you've got one, two, you've got five columns in total, and the the bar tacking on the webbing strips is actually very good. I've checked all around the panel, and I mean you can see some very slight, very slight inconsistencies in the actual parallel stitching there, but that's minor. It's very minor, and it, you know it doesn't stray off the edging tape. It's all where it should be. It's all very neatly done. As I, as I mentioned, the bar tacking is good. For example, on the uh, on the belt hangers here, you can see that reinforcement in the stitching where they've gone over it three, four times. So all looking good on that respect. So that's that for the panel. Onto the pouches is one I uh, is one I made earlier. Now each of the rifle pouches comes with a little bag like this. It's got a webbing tab and a length of bungee cord. And what that allows you to do is what I've done here and you can create a sort of a shingle retention effect for each rifle magazine. I don't think you really need it but if you really want that extra retention, uh, extra security then it's there for you. 
One great plus about these uh, copies of the Taco design is that they don't use fucking malice clips. Hate those things, and I'm sure a lot of you do too. Webbing straps use the tuck tab method. It's just a, a folding over of the webbing and there's a piece of plastic just inside there. So you thread the pouch onto your panel, then tuck that tab away and they're nice and secure. All the materials are mil spec, they're all really top quality. I mean, you want to be looking at, um, you know, the, the webbing they've used, the cordura itself, the plastic hardware, the shop bungee cord. Um, they do seem to have provided a bit too much of a length, but then it's better to have too much rather than too little. You can always just chop that down, tie another knot in the end of it. Would have been nice to see them actually uh, heat, heat sealing the ends of the bungee cords, but again, that's two second job with a lighter. One big difference between these pouches and the original HSGI version is this side here. The HSGI is a sort of a cup, as it were, of formed Kydex plastic around here. It goes down, there's a rivet on the base of the pouch, back up the side, uh, where these just use, uh, this is strips of webbing, and much like the tuck tabs, you've got a slice of plastic in there for reinforcement. If anything, the retention on these is probably better. You've probably got more friction with this method, although I have, have found it's not quite as easy to actually reinsert a magazine. Now, that, that one was all right because I've loosened the elastic quite a bit and I've been sort of practicing and this one's fairly opened out. It has a bit of a tendency to close up on you like that and then you kind of got to work it in a bit more carefully. But overall, for what you're paying, very nice and the retention is there, which is the main thing. Pistol one can actually be separated from the rifle pouch. However, even if you remove the PALS uh, strap on the back, the webbing joins, the shock cord, sorry, actually joins the two. So you would have to undo this knot, remove that piece, unthread all the shock cord on the pistol pouch. They're not actually, it's, it's two separate lengths of shock cord, so you're not going to have any problems there, you're not going to have to cut them apart, but you're just going to have to undo the knot, plastic uh, adjustment toggle off there, take a picture, I would have probably, of the pistol pouch and how it's laid out in terms of how that cord is threaded, take it all out, undo the strap, then you'll be able to separate them if you wanted to, and, uh, and you'll have separate pouches. Overall, very high quality piece of equipment. I'm very happy with this one. It's been put together extremely well using very nice materials. A um, few minor little bugbears with the some of the little sort of the finishing niceties with the, the bungee cord and that sort of stuff. But again, very minor. You're just going to have to spend a little bit of time probably chopping down like some straps like this uh, and the, the hangers, the bungee cord, just cutting them down so you haven't got all this excess uh, causing snag hazards get you know get some lighters get all the ends on that sealed and that will make uh, this product a lot better uh, in use it is a nice layout um, you know obviously the, the HSGI version uh, with Chris Costa they came out with and it has been popular with uh, shooters in the States um, and now you can pick these up from UK Tactical and it's a pretty pretty nice version of it and it's not very expensive either, uh, certainly compared to buying the HSGI one. So yeah, I will put a link in the description box below to the page on UK Tactical where you can pick these up. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for all the subs, all the thumbs up, all that good kind of stuff. If you'd like to keep up to date with similar gear reviews, if you want to see more stuff like this, please check out the Facebook page. And thanks for watching, see you next time.